I'm gonna buy a Swiss watch, ceramic, on Fifth Avenue in New York City, but for under $200 with taxes in. What the f I know, let's go see if we can find one. So here I am in New York City, there's my buddy Tony. We are walking down right now to Fifth Avenue. I have been here for three and a half months in New York City, and I've decided before I go home to Canada that I'm gonna treat myself to a Swiss watch from Fifth Avenue, a ceramic Swiss watch. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're here at the Swatch store, and this is how we're gonna get a Swiss ceramic watch for under $200 on Fifth Avenue. So let's go. This is what we came to see today, is a bioceramics. Technically, it's a Swiss watch. It has got two-thirds ceramic, and we are on Fifth Avenue. So we're gonna buy the watch, and then I'm gonna review it for you later in the video. This is cool. I don't think it's really my thing. So I'm gonna go with this one, the bioceramic in all white. There's the box. That is a pretty cool looking watch. Hey guys and girls, I am back. You saw earlier in the video that I was in New York City and I picked up the bio ceramic from Swatch. Full disclosure, I did pay for this watch. This is a completely unbiased review. All that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's swing this camera around and let's get into what I think about this watch and why I think it's both good and unfortunately bad. All will be revealed. Let's go. All right, everyone, here it is, the big, bold Swatch, the bioceramic watch from Swatch Watches. Now, just before we open up this box and get into the watch and give you my full unbiased review, wrist watch check. Today on my wrist, I am wearing a watch that I love in my collection, absolute stunner. It is the Pioneer Chronograph from Wishmore Watches. Now, I did a review of this on my channel. I'll put a link in the description below this video. Go along, check it out, and you can go to wishmorewatches.com uh, to see their full lineup of these vintage-inspired chronograph watches. We're gonna open this up, and we're gonna tell you why I think it's both good and bad. There are pluses and minuses for this watch. So I've got my uh, black light here because there is actually some loom on this swatch watch watch believe it or not and I've got my little spyglass so we can get a close-up look at the movement inside $125 US that works out at about $160 Canadian about a hundred pounds or about 110 euros the packaging is just cardboard I kind of dig it it's bold it's colorful so you slip off this outside cardboard band here and when you open it up you are greeted with uh, the bio ceramic uh, watch now this particular one is the all-white bioceramic but it does come in other colors too so you can get it in pink in green in blue in black this has got the skeletonized face but you can get it without the skeletonized face you can get crystals on there i personally liked the look of this all white but it does have some problems and i'm going to show you what those are we've got the instructions and warranty here all swatch watches come with a 24 month two year manufacturer's warranty they also come with a free battery replacement for life swiss made renata 390 battery which comes with about three years of battery life before you need to change it you can see there that we have the swatch logo on the face on the dial and under that it says swiss the great thing about the swatch logo and swiss is that it's printed on the underside of the glass so it's not going to scratch off the crystal on this is actually a um, plastic crystal uh, slightly domed and it is recessed into that slightly uh, beveled bezel there. The bezel, the side of the case and the back is all one formed unit. Basically the lugs, the case, the bezel, it's all made out of ceramic, which is very cool. It means that on a hot day or on a cold day, it's gonna stay at body temperature. It's nice and light. The, the uh, time buckle on this is also aluminum, which makes the whole thing, plus the bioceramic strap, um, it makes it very, very light, very comfortable on the wrist. That is kind of what drew me. 
uh, to the bioceramic line, to be honest. Now, Swatch started in the 80s, but of course now the Swatch Group is a massive company and they own a lot of Swiss watch brands that you probably don't realize. They own Blancpain, they own Breguet, a Glass Hoot, they own Harry Winston, Omega, Longines, Tissot. Their watches are made in Switzerland now. They do claim that some of the parts, some of the minor parts might be made in China and Taiwan, but basically most of the watch is made in Switzerland, manufactured in Switzerland. It's a quartz ETA Swiss movement. They haven't posted a caliber on this movement, so I have no idea what the caliber is. Bioceramic is actually exclusive to the Swatch brand, not the Swatch group. So you can't get it on any other Swatch group watches and you can't get it on any other watches in the world. What it is, is a mix of about 70% ceramic, which again is uh, most of the case here, well, all of the case, and then about 30% uh, bio sustainable, which essentially in this is made out of castor bean oil. Now, castor bean oil is growable, so it's sustainable, and it is used to produce the plastic in this watch to create an environmentally friendly product. So basically, the keepers, the strap are made out of this bio material. What that means is it's kind of got a silky, smooth finish to it, a silicon style. Of, of uh, plastic. It's a little stiff when you first take it out of the case and then as you use it a little bit more it does soften up. Now all of the things I've mentioned so far about this watch are good. However, here's one of the downsides, one of the bad points about this biomaterial. It gets dirty. I don't know if you can see, uh, but this was a white color like the strap and now it's kind of a gray color. And then also if you look at the end of the strap here, that's not shadow, those gray kind of black marks there are dirt. And no matter how much you wipe that with a cloth or with a magic eraser, it just won't come off. It's kind of ground into the material. Now that's not to say that I wouldn't purchase a bioceramic watch. I just would maybe steer clear of buying an all white one like I did. and <laughs> Maybe not the best idea. Maybe consider one of the other colors like a blue, a black, a green, uh, something like that rather than the white. Now another downside which personally doesn't bother me but I know it bothers a lot of people is that there is an audible tick to the quartz movement. Now in a quiet room, you can hear it. That is how loud that tick is. I personally kind of like that, but I know it's not for everybody. Also on the crown, when you pull the crown out and wind this, if you're winding it clockwise to set the time, there is no sound. But if you go anti-clockwise, there is kind of an aud audible uh, clicking. One of the downside that you may or may not consider a downside, again, I personally don't, but that is that the strap is integrated into uh, the lugs, as you can see. You're not going to be able to change this strap out for another one unless it is indeed a uh, bioceramic strap. The strap kind of fits the style of the watch, so whether or not you want to change it out you know, remains to be seen. I personally don't. I'm happy with it. You're going to be able to go quite small on this, on wrist size, all the way up to quite large. So I would say it's going to fit most wrist sizes. You've got two keepers, one fastened in place, one movable keeper. Moving around to the buckle, it's an aluminum buckle. It's very light. It's a time buckle. It's got the Swatch branding logo on there. Now this strap is not that flexible. So as you see it there sitting open is where it kind of stands. If I want to push it back, there's not a lot of flex to that. It's not going to lay flat on a table for example. Now the hands, if you can see, have got um, inlay of super luminova, which is kind of cool. Um, I've got my little black light here. If I shine that on there, you can see how they start to glow. And uh, we're just going to give it a little blast of black light here. These are great. You can buy these on Amazon very cheaply, and they're a great way to charge the loom on your watches. Now, if we take that away, you can instantly see, and I'm in a bright room here, uh, but you can instantly see the loom on the watch hands there. Good generous amount of super luminova on the hour and minute hands. It does seem to be dissipating quite quickly, so I'm not sure how long that's going to last. We don't have any indices on the dial. However, this kind of design does act as um, almost like the indices of the watch, if you like. So five, 10 on these little struts. One thing I love about this particular uh, bioceramic watch is that it is skeletonized. Now, not all the bioceramic watches are skeletonized. You can certainly have them with a solid face. Let's bring in the little uh, eyeglass here. And hopefully if I get this um, just in the right position, we might be able, there you go. We can kind of focus in 
on that movement a little bit and it's kind of cool because it has got a lot of depth to it as you can see there's uh, a good thickness to the watch in fact the watch actually is about 11.75 millimeters thick it is about 47 millimeters in diameter and it does have a 24 millimeter uh, wide strap so it's certainly uh, got a lot of presence on wrist personally i don't think it wears as big as the uh, specs would suggest you can see a lot of the uh, details in there we've got some gold finishing some of the uh, movements and white on white and then we've got a lot of depth there as you get into the quartz movement in the back it's a great looking piece um, very interesting and the closer you get to it the more there is to see now unfortunately i can't get into this movement because it is a sealed case the only thing to be changed is the battery which has got easy access here on the back it does have some basic water resistance it's got three bars which is about 30 meters 100 feet of water resistance resistance it is a push pull crown not a screw down crown so again it's going to be good for splashes of water washing the car things like that but i wouldn't take this underwater because um, that crown being push and pull is compromised and water is going to get inside because of this bio ceramic material it's almost got a little bit of a uh, a roughness to it and so it makes it very easy to pull that crown out without getting your fingers underneath which is nice on the first pull out it's actually a ghost turn um, I believe that this movement also uh, allows for date functions which is why uh, there is a, a first pull out there and on the second pull out that's where you can change uh, the time it's very responsive push back into set and that crown is at the two o'clock position which I love to see I think it's just a really nice unusual feature on a watch although they don't say there's anti-reflective coating on this crystal I actually think there is it does really good with reflections one other quick thing I want to mention is the movement is not hackable so on some watches uh, when you pull the crown all the way out the second hand will stop ticking which allows for more precise time setting however it doesn't with this one so it is a non hackable watch every week while i'm reviewing a watch i also check out a craft beer and today's kind of special because i'm checking out a beer that i had in new york so let's take a look and then let's get to the back of this watch and get the battery out and show you what's going on there all right guys so got a beer i've got vihan stefana hefeweiss beer i don't know if that's how you say it it's about 5.4 percent smells like banana orange zest um lemon kind of a cloudy Wheat beer, white beer. Really easy to drink. Goes down super smooth. We're here at a bar in New York. I can't remember what the bar's called. We're gonna get a bit of food. I got the watch on that I just bought. We're gonna carry on with that review. All right, cheers guys. All right, so that was a great beer in New York. I'll put a link in the description below this video to that beer. You should check it out for sure. Moving around to the back, let's take a look. We have some printing on the back here. It says Swatch Swiss made water resistance or water resistant uh, battery 390. So it tells you right there, the model number SR1130SW, the model number of this particular bioceramic watch in white. We also have the Swatch logo here. And then we have the easy access battery panel and this is really one of the great things about uh, swatch watches because you don't need to take the back off figure out the battery get into it you just take a coin you don't need any special tools the little panel unscrews off the back like this and then there is the battery which just drops out now the great thing is you can do this and replace it yourself but you never have to as long as you go to a swatch store they'll replace the battery for free for you for the lifetime of the watch we'll do a little wrist roll so you get a good look at it i've got a seven and a half inch wrist uh fits quite nicely again it does wear larger this is from their xl line if you've got a smaller wrist i would say then seven inches this might not be the best watch for you i think for the price point of 125 dollars us it is going to be a talking point people are going to notice it on your wrist and it gives you something a little unusual uh, to add to your watch collection and you know being available in all the different colors that it is i think that you're going to find something uh, that suits your personal style am i happy that it gets dirty no not really do i love the watch and i'm happy it's in my collection now yes absolutely 100 percent 
percent i actually was really impressed with the swatch store i enjoyed looking at a lot of their watches they got some great stuff and it's been the 80s since i last looked at swatches so i personally will be picking up a few more in the future so there you have it my friends my review of the c white from the swatch bio ceramic line i absolutely love it but again there are those problems with the strap and with dirt that aside i do love the watch i think it looks really cool on wrist makes a statement and it's very unusual i'll put a link in the description below this video where you can go get these at swatch.com you can also get them from swatch stores around the world and don't forget if you do pick one up let's say in new york like i did but you live in canada you can take this into the canadian store uh, and they'll still do the watch replacement uh, watch replacement they won't replace the watch for life <laughs> they'll still do the battery replacement for wife for wife what is going on with me today? They'll still do the... the <laughs> I can't talk. I haven't even had a beer today. They will still do the battery replacement for life. Yes, nailed it. They'll do that for life at any swatch store in the world that you go to regardless of where you purchased it. So that's always a good thing. So there it is, my friends. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to crack a beer, kick back, relax, and put on your favorite watch, but drink responsibly. If this is your first time to my channel, then uh, if you enjoy it, please do subscribe. I put new watch review videos out every Friday, and I've got a backlog on this channel of like 190 uh, watch review videos and growing so there's lots for you to look at and lots of reviews for you to take in if you love watches and you love beer then this is the channel for you bye for now <sighs>